Hey guys, it's Kylie, and today I have a video about Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. It's a game you can play, it's free, it's at Magic Kingdom. So, the whole point of the game is you get these cards, and with your, you open this portal, and you're fighting off villains to eventually defeat Hades and save the, um, like the, oh, is it the jewel? It's the jewel. Um, but here's all the different, I'm going to go through all the card types you can get and explain the game a little bit. So, you go to the fire station at Magic Kingdom, you can go and sign up. It used to be that you used this key card. Here, I'll show you. This was the key card you used to get, and this would open your things. Now, everything's on your magic band, so you can use your magic band to open it. But you just scan your magic band up on the thing, or this key card, up on the, um... Little, there's like a little symbol and the windows change and they do a little um, intro and then go through and you have to defeat different pieces of the villains or their assistants and stuff. Um, you're working with Marlin to defeat them all. So I'm just going to go through the different card types. There's three different card types. There's, they're all on the back of this. There's rare ones that have the little star on them. Um, common, uh, uncommon that have the moon. Um, this full moon is common and then super rare the lightning bolts. The super rare are cards that you buy when you buy those pack, these packs. Um, these are like the play it at home packs. Um, but here are some of the different cards. Um, they all are numbered 1 through 70 going it goes they do all the rare and then once they're done with the rare then it goes into the uncommon then the common and the super rare the last 10 of the 70 but I'll just flip through here's these this set I have in order the machine's able to read seven cards at once so I have them in packs of eight and it will re read whatever cards your band has the highest power up with and you can also there's different levels so once you defeat it it takes there's seven um, different adventures and then to defeat Haiti so eight total so once you defeat all eight you can then choose to stay on easy move up to medium or continue up I think there's four three or four levels so easy medium hard and expert I think are the four levels so now we're getting into the some of these are the these are the uncommon cards and then these are get, starting to get into the these this page is the common uh, common cards you get a one or two um rare cards and a i think it's one rare card two co uncommon cards and three common cards for each pack you get and everybody in your party can get a pack of cards and you can go once every day to get them unless you defeat the whole game and then you can go a second time that day and then here's the rest and then these are the four cards i have that are super rare that um cost money and had to be bought um, somebody that, we had friends that went down there and they bought them for us. And then, if you go to any of the parties, you can also get them. They'll, like, mark off your band. So this is from this year's, um, Mickey's Not So Scary. They have, like, the little star. Because they're, uh, this is uh, number 11 of the party cards. So it's country rare jamboree themed. Now, these are just sorted by number. That's this first set. I also have them sorted two other ways. So this one I have sorted by type of spell. So all the toy spells I have first. And the spells also the base is the color. So like all, these are all red. Then it has the fairy spells are all pink. Monster spells are all like green. Then into the animal spells. Um, they, those are some more. Then the hero spells are like this teal color. Um, then the mist. Was it mystic spells? And see, this means I'm missing that one, so I don't have a second Flynn Rider flying frying pan one, so I'm looking to trade for that if anybody has that. Then it goes into warrior spells, princess spells, and I'm also missing the Mulan one. Um, machine spells, and then that's it. That's how, so I have it sorted that way. Um, each one has a different amount. Of cards each type of spell then I also have it sorted by attack so this is quick attacks so this is the number based on them 
and each in each one I have them numerical based on that so like this is number four that's number 11 and then below it's number 14 but these are the quick attack boost and so it's quick is the category um, and these are all quick then charm uh, strong over here and then into charming and this is all more charming see some of them are much the strong page was short but some of the other ones are longer into wishful all these little things are just cards I'm missing um, flying gross energy and then that's it those are all the attacks I only have little pages for the ones I'm missing for the first 60 because those you can just get it for free in the parks and if I find people like I got some of those on my last trip I just traded with a kid that had a stack of them and was looking for some other ones so I just let them look through the section some people are like picky about which cards they trade for but I just say make it about even if it's a card I'll need I'll trade for it but like there's some people only trade stars for stars and stuff but these are all my um my extras they're in order for the most part for the beginning and then once I get to about here it just starts to restart because I can't these are from the next trip they kind of restarted back at the beginning and I haven't switched them into back being again in numerical order but then like some are from one day and then some are from the next day when we went um, all the different extra cards I have these are all my traders yeah so oh and I also have this because sometimes you need to fight them with the sorcerer's crest which is on the back of your spell cards so I have that available so that I can show off a sorcerer's crest if I need to in the competition so when the screen changes all you do is you just flip it doesn't really matter in the easy level some of the other ones you should attack them with certain attacks but you just flip them over and you hold it up to the screen and cameras will read it and say okay and then you, all the attacks will go and then they'll do that okay so here's the game at home game cards um these are some of the rules but it's based on you each place a card and you see, here's like the board and you have these little chips on the board and based on whatever attack you have compared to theirs and you, when you flip the coins it will like you can do different attacks and different things will happen based on if you have that kind of attack and your goal is to make it um, around to down around across the board like you have different t things so yeah I played this once or twice. I'm not. I like to play the game at Magic Kingdom, not so much um, the home game. But the home game is fun. There's four different boards. It's good to have if you don't go to go to, get to the parks a lot. It gives you something to do with the cards versus just them sitting around. They have Doctor Facilier, Corella Deville, Jafar, and Maleficent. I have the Maleficent board, I think in the Jafar board. I think I only have two different types. Maleficent and yeah, in the Jafar board. Let's see if I can find it for you. Oh, actually, no, it's Dr. Facilier. I thought it was Jafar. Yeah, so I have two Dr. Facilier's. A Maleficent. And I think this is another Maleficent. So like you can play the different boards. Each one has slightly different attacks based on the board. But yeah, they use just a lot to play at home. So that's the basics of sources, Magic Kingdom, my cards. I like to store them in these binders. I decorate them with the different stickers they give you free at the parks. But thanks for watching. Oh, actually, I'll show you the map. This is the map. It just has each location. So we'll just show you like the raindrop and you can know to go there. And all the different locations. This is where you can get your cards and they'll train you on how to play the game. But they have Main Street, um, Liberty Square and Frontierland, Adventureland, and Fantasyland are the four like areas. There's Main Street only has one adventure, the other ones have multiple adventures of people you can fight. But yeah, so here's the sources of the Magic Kingdom game, the Magic Kingdom. I would highly recommend playing it if you have some free time or if like some of your party's waiting in line 
for a ride you don't want to go on. It gives a good time to pass the time. And even if you don't finish it, it's still a fun game um, to try out. And it's a great way to meet new people. If you Some of the people that play it are, have been playing it for a while and are, will show you all the ropes and give you some cards and stuff. So I would highly recommend it. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for my Vlogmas videos. It will come up every day at 2. Um, and I'll see you guys.